Turing 6. Um, and I'm here today to take a look at the Bogner Alchemist amplifier. This is the uh, newest series of amplifiers in the Bogner line of amplification. Um, and it's a bit of a, a departure in terms of, uh, mostly in terms of price point. Um, it brings the Bogner boutique name down into a, a more affordable uh, price point, but with all of the, the, the great uh, boutique tone and versatility that you would expect out of a Bogner amplifier. So this is the Alchemist right here. Um, it's basically, it's an all tube amplifier with two channels. Um, do we have the gold channel, keeping in the, uh, in the alchemy uh, terminology here, that is a, uh, the clean to sort of crunch channel <coughs> right here with a bunch of controls that I'll get into as I go through some of the tones. And we have the mercury channel, which is uh, from, from more of a crunch sound to a full-on sort of blistering lead thing. So let's take a listen to it. Over here on the clean side, we've got gain, treble, middle bass, volume, the regular controls. We've got it set totally clean. I have a brightness switch that I can click in. Fendery Sparkle. And then I'm going to go over here. I have also have built-in effects. So, so I don't go through the entire presentation with no reverb or delay. I'm going to come over here and show this off a little bit. Right here we've got a delay knob with the repeats, tap tempo, and reverb. So if I want delay, <clears throat> I can either just turn it up here or use the included foot switch to turn on my delay. I've got three options, a ducking delay, an analog delay, and a tape echo. Adjust my repeats, tap my time. If I come over here to the reverb, I can kick that on with my foot switch as well. I have a plate, spring, and a hall. So I think for now I'm just going to stick with just a tiny little bit of plate. <clears throat> so let's go back over here to the clean channel. I've got the gain all the way up right now, and I can flip this over to crunch, and it goes from having before sort of more of a black panel um, fender vibe to a more of a tweed fender vibe. <laughs> nice kind of a crunchy kind of a thing but still really really you get all the sort of <clears throat> reaction you would get out of your dynamics that you would expect out of a out of a Bogner <clears throat> I also have a deep switch which I've had on this whole time Gives me a nice bottom. I can really crank up the mid. Give 
gives me more of that sort of tweed-like breakup. And if I really want to crank the gain, I can... <laughs> Still, my volume knob can totally clean it up. <clears throat> so on both channels, I also have a boost control. It's right here, switchable on the amplifier. It's also foot switchable from the foot switch. I set up sort of a crunchy. I want just a little bit more kick, I can kick that in. And just gives me a little bit of a volume boost and a little bit more push in gain. And you can access that at any time, which is, which is really nice. <clears throat> so on from the gold channel to the mercury channel over here, um, I can switch that on the amplifier or I can once again do it on my my trusty foot switch. Um, over here, I have two levels of gain with this punch switch right here. I have a brightness switch and a mid shift and then the usual treble, middle, bass, and volume. entirely. Real nice sort of a JTM 45 level of gain right here that I've got going on. That's on the crunch side of the mercury channel. And I Now if I want to kick that up a notch, <clears throat> I hit the punch control. I get again a more martially sort of a crunch sound. If I want to really crank up the gain, I'm going to back off on the treble a little bit. tight, heavy gain sound. I can so tons and tons and tons of gain on that channel. And again, anywhere from sparkling clean to a, a black panelish kind of a clean to a tweedish kind of a crunch over there on the the uh, gold channel and then anywhere from great sort of bluesy crunch sounds to to blistering gain on the uh, the mercury channel all with with great sounding digital effects let me hit the uh, delay again so you can hear that on this Bring up the delay. Bit of reverb. 
reverb and I can go for full on greasy lead sound. <laughs> So with all that <clears throat> on the back panel of the amp, um, you've got a parallel effects loop with a mix control, so you can throw any effects in there and it, you still get your um, <clears throat> full on dry signal path going through. Um, it's loaded with two Celestian speakers, um, actually a, a G12M25, the Greenback reissue, and then the G12H30, which is the 30 watt reissue, not to be confused with the vintage 30, like the, the speakers you would have gotten in the old, old Marshall cabinets with the 100 in the corner for bass. Um, and that combination also gives you a really, really nice um, blend of sort of some of the more warm compression of the G12M25 and then the, the more big bottom and top of the G12H30. The amp comes in basically three different configurations. Comes in a 40 watt 112 combo, which I think that one just comes with a vintage 30 in it. It comes in this 40 watt 212 combo, um, and it also comes in a 40 watt head with a matching 212 cabinet with the same, same speaker configuration that you get in this combo. Um, one thing I should mention as well is that this, it has a 20 and 40 watt switch on it. Um, I've been actually running it at 20 watts. Um, for this demonstration just because of volume constraints. But uh, real nice uh, to be able to get it down to a little bit more of a manageable volume at 20 watts and the tone remains very similar. So that's pretty much it. That's the Bogner Alchemist. Um, great boutique tone uh, at a price point that I think everybody can afford and, uh, and just an amazingly versatile amp. Thanks a lot.